Yo, hey people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Road Senpai. Hope you're well and in good health. Okay, all things good on crypto. So let's see what's going on at the moment. So right now, we've seen some good, good movement in terms of the global crypto market. It's currently sat at 1.75 trillion, gone up by 5.17% over the last 24 hours. So let's take a look here. So we've got Bitcoin absolutely smashing it, currently sat at 45 thousand four hundred ninety seven and ninety two cents so that's basically it's higher than it's ever been since i think april 2002 so just like a year and a half so it's actually you know across that forty four thousand dollar mark that key resistance point and it's currently now above forty five thousand it was even higher than what it is currently but it's gone slightly down but anyway it's still you know not far off from the 46k mark and even some analysts are predicting it could reach $50,000. Wow, amazing. So in the last hour, it's gone up by 0.29%. It's gone up by 6.40 in the last 24 hours. And on the 30-day marker, it's up by 15.15%. Absolutely amazing. So you can see other coins are falling through as well. So number two in the marketplace, Ethereum is currently at $2,396.36. Again, that's gone up by 3.96% in the last 24 hours and just over 10% in the last 30 days. So the Ethereum killer, aka Solana, currently sat at number 4. It's actually gone above BNB, currently priced at $113.94. Gone up by 8.59% in the last 24 hours. Amazing. Slightly down on the hour mark by 0.15%. Again, it's up 83.23% in the last 30 days. And then we head over to position number six, which is XRP, aka Ripple. So they currently have gone up in the last hour by 0.16 and 1.87 of the last 24 hours. Currently priced at 0.6327. And then you've got Cardano, which is also up on all four markers, up by two thirds, nearly 60, you know, 0.75% in the last 30 days. Uh, currently priced at 0.6264. Avalanche, aka AVAX, has been doing well, uh, you know, up by 92.7, of the last 30 days, and it's up by 0.04% in the last hour and 6.50% in the last 24 hours. Currently priced at 42.22 dollars. Wow, amazing. Polkadot is up in the last hour. Tron is slightly down in the last hour. So is Polygon and Chainlink as well as Tonecoin. And then we head over to Shiba Inu. So that is currently up on all four markers as well. Uh, just under 30%, so 28.36% over the last 30 days and 0.07% in the last hour. And it's gone up by 3.36% in the last 24 hours. Internet computer, so we just released a video explaining what it is in terms of the coin and what you know functionality has and all the elements around it that people are buzzing to right now. So obviously that has had a fantastic run over the last 30 days at 180.87%, 180.87% uh, in the last 30 days. Slightly down in the last 24 hours, but still priced at 13.36. Litecoin started to move a little bit as well. So it's gone up by 1.62% in the last 24 hours. Slightly down in the last hour. So currently priced at $74.64. And then you've got Bitcoin Cash, which has gone down in the last 24 hours, but still quite high at $263.40. So that is the top 20 global cryptocurrencies today. But the big news is the movement Bitcoin has had over the last 24 hours, smashing the 44 mark, 44,000 mark, 45k mark, and it did push back pushed past the 45 and a half mark as well. So currently at 45, 42. So not too far off from the $46,000 mark, but we will wait and see to see how that develops going forward. Okay, people, that's a quick uh, overview of the markets on day two uh, of the year. Uh, so please do let us know what you think about these markets right now. Do you think with the ETFs coming through uh, exchange traded funds and the multiple applications that have gone in for permission for them uh, but we did hear from the SEC that they were going to come through potentially get reviewed in the next day or two but 
been delayed slightly by a few days so possibly at the end of the week maybe next week uh, there might be some feedback on that so if they are basically accepted and you know they start to run that will potentially create uh, some sort of rally as well and then you've got obviously the halving uh, bitcoin halving coming up in april easter time uh, and then you've got a u.s election and you've got a multitude of other things maybe changing the rates as well uh, in terms of the banking and, and finance sectors which could all influence the rate uh, that the cryptocurrency market moves towards okay people please do let us know in the comment section below what you think please do like share subscribe click the notification bell okay people let's make some guala catch you in the next one